coming in hot. everyone welcome to this tutorial and this is a continuation of the previous one I'll, I'll put the link in the description and the question is this hexagonal prism is being cut by an inclined plane at an angle of 45 degrees 10 millimeters away from the base we have to draw the true shape and the development of this lateral surface all right so let's begin so you have to introduce the cutting plane here and draw the true shape. So I'm going to measure 10 millimeters away. That's 10 millimeters. Now draw the cutting plane, which is at an angle of 45 degrees. Alright, so that's the cutting plane I've introduced. Let me take it out a bit. That's the cutting plane. Now, we are going to project all these lines to the side. So, wherever this vertical line meets with the cutting plane, will be projected to the side. So, let's begin. So, this first one. Then this one, this one, finally this one. So you have the projections as follows. Next, you are going to mark out the point. So we are going to follow through the tracing. Now one starts from here, continues here, and comes all the way here intersect with one over here so there's one two and six i'm going together they come here so two will be here six will also be here now three and five are moving together three is here five is also here Finally, four. Four meet at the top. Then, lastly, one goes over here. We are going to join the points with the street line. Alright, so we have this. Now for the true shape, that you are only going to see the true shape if you look at it at an angle of 45 degrees, from at an angle of 90 degrees, sorry, at an angle of 90 degrees. So 90 degrees will be in this direction. So looking at it from this way, that's where you see the true shape. So you need to project these lines to get the true shape at an angle of 90. So let's begin. So this, right, this goes this way. This also. Go this way. This one too goes this way. Finally, this one goes this way. Alright, so next, we are going to draw a line parallel to 
this cutting plane over here. I'm going to place this on it. I'm going to place, I'm going to support it, then I'll move, give me move outside of it. Yes, we move outside of it somehow. We yeah. move outside. All right, so you have this. Let me take it. Have this in, to be a new reference line. I'm going to extend this. This line doesn't look accurate. Okay, that's better. So now this line here is going to represent this line over here. So this will be uh, point one and this fully will be a uh, point four now you're going to draw this shape over here but before we do that let's let's join two and six together and three and five So you have one four one four. Right. So you're going to stand here open to two, which will be the same as six. Stand here open to two. We stand here. Inscribe an arc. Inscribe an arc. Next three and five will also be the same distance. We stand here. And inscribe an arc. So I'm going to mark. So you have this to be a point two. You have this to be a point six. This will be a point five. And this will be a point two, three. I'm going to join them with the street line. Alright, so we have this to be our true ship. Let me take in this one. And this will be a this will be our actual drawing. This will be our true ship. Then this will be the top view. This will be our development.
Hej, så jag vet inte det. All right, so this is what you have. Now, this wasn't part of the question, but then I'll go through it. In case you are asked to draw, yeah, in case you are asked to assume that this is enclosed, meaning you have to draw the covering for the top part and the down part. Let's see how you are going to go about it. All right, so for the down part, you can draw it here anyway, any part here. But mind you, for the down part, you are going to see this actual thing but the top part you rather see this true shape here so let's start with the down part then move on to the top part with the down part let's see with the down part you can draw it anywhere here but then let's let's draw it at four and five so we are going to extend this line downwards. Four, five. So you have these two lines. Now we know four and five is here. If you have to measure on this line, if you have to pick this point, let's see. If you pick this point here, it should be at the same, it should be the same as the point over here. So you pick this point, you stand at 4, and you scribe an arc, stand at 5, and you scribe an arc. So now you have 1, 2, we need 1, 2, and 1, 2. Now, if you pick this distance, 3, 4, we know this distance, 3, 4, we know it's the same as 5, 4. So if we stand here and inscribe an arc, and we stand here and inscribe an arc, where the intersect, you know, same thing you do for here, an arc. And an arc. Right, so you have our points now. So if here is point five, this is going to be point six. Here will be one. Here will be point two. Finally, here will be point three. We're going to join them. So this comes this way. This also comes this way. Goes this way. Goes this way. Then yeah, finally, and here. Yeah. All right. So this will be the covering for the under. Now for the covering for the top, we need to project these lines. At an angle of at, at an angle of 90 degrees because that's when we see the tree shape you can choose to draw it anywhere here but then let's 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 draw it here i'm going to project this this line at an angle of 90 degrees i'll project this line too That will be a bit difficult. I'll just draw a line parallel to it. We bring it down here. Alright, so you have this to be this angle to be 90, this angle to this be 90. Now we have this these two points, point five here and point six here. Now coming here, 
we have 0.5 here, 0.6 here. And just on top of 0.6, we have 0.2. And on top of 0.5, we have 0.3. So I'm going to stand at 0.6, open to 0.2. I'll get that distance. Stand at 0.6 and inscribe an arc. Will be the same as 5 to 3. Stand here and also inscribe an arc. So now this becomes our point. 6 corresponds with point 0.2 and 5 corresponds with point 0.3. Right. Next. The distance here is the same as this distance here. I'm going to pick this distance, which will be the same over here. I'm going to stand at point six, sorry, point five, and inscribe an arc. Also stand at point three and inscribe an arc. So the intersection will give me point four. Next, I'm going to stand at point six. Inscribe an arc. Point two. Inscribe an arc. And that intersection will also give me point one. So I'll join them. Join this to this. Right, so this will be the covering for the underside, and this will be the covering for the top, and that's how to develop the hexagonal prism. This is the true shape, this is the front view, this is the plan. Sorry, front view and the development. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next video.